Alright guys, I thought I'd make a Torchlight 2 video. Uh, I've been playing this a little bit. I think I found some awesome secrets. I uh, started out playing this Outlander here. And I got up to level 22, having some fun with them. I was using mainly Shadow Bats. I ended up making like two different kinds of warriors, one with claws and one with like a two-hander. And then I ended up, uh, I made an engineer just so I could have this awesome legendary cannon that I found. Then I ended up liking the Ember Mage the best, and I named it Dwarf Warrior, since it's a female human mage, I thought it would be ironic. So, uh, let me show you what I've done and how I play here. Okay, so if I go into land mode, and I can change the difficulty. Let's make it elite. Because I've been playing on normal, and it's been really too easy. If you can see at the top left, I have 37 unspent stat points. I actually had 60-something. And I put 30 into something to be able to wear some item. So uh, my s items, I've got the Asteria set. i got some legendary pants, theory of boots, theory of shoulders. Pretty nice belt there with charge, rejuvenating gloves. Pretty nice shield. I've got this legendary shield, but I think I like this one better. 150 DPS, uh, lightning sparks in this wand. It's got extra 120 poison damage over 5 seconds. It's got 9% cast speed. Now this bunch of legendary shit here. I actually gambled like three of these in a row plus like another ring and another legendary like off this guy. It's down here. Wait, where am I at? This guy right here. Talk to this guy. You can buy shit. Look at all these rings he's got. Let me just get one of these. See what we get. Boom! Legendary ring. That's how easy it is. I don't know what to deal is with this guy. He's so easy. It's like, boom! Another legendary. That's exactly the same. Sometimes you just get on streaks with them and just give you legendary, legendary. Do they got any wands? You fucking legendary wand, you bitch. My pet, I chose the uh, ferret. His name is Tibbers. So I've been like having way too easy of a time with this character. My other characters, uh, even on the same difficulty, were kind of difficult to play like you would expect it normally to be. But with this guy, I've been going into places that are like up to five levels higher than my level that I shouldn't be able to do. I'm just like breezing through it, not even... One time I died from some weird characters, like one monster in the whole map it killed me. I don't know what his deal was, but like everybody else, I did not even lost health really. I had some health regen gear, I thought that was something. What I've done here is my uh, charge bar down here fills up. And with the mage, once it fills up, you get free cast. It doesn't use any mana while you're spamming. This is my main skill, Prismatic Bolt. I think it might be a glitch. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, I wish I could get rid of this magma spear because I don't use it. You can only you only respect the last three skills you spend, so that's not really cool. I don't need icy blast or hailstorm anymore. I wish I'd get rid of those points too. And uh, I started putting death's bounty in. But look at this. I've only got one point in this prismatic bolt. It's level one. The damage scales up as you level. See at the bottom it says improves the player level. It started out doing like three or something of each different kind of elemental fire, ice, electric, and poison damage to enemies. And there's four bolts. Or five bolts. I don't know what the fifth one is. There's only four elements listed. But as you go up the tiers, you only get like 10% damage increase. And like, I went to a skill calculator and like if you max it out, it gives you like 10 damage instead of 3 damage as your base. So I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. Like by the time it's a max level, at level 100, I'm not sure how much damage it'll do, but like right now it still rapes crap like crazy, so there's really no reason to put more points into it. Sometimes I'll use this Thunder Locust skill, which is like a stationary lightning thing that kills stuff, so if I'm fighting a boss, I'll like hide in it or near it and just kind of let it lightning shit. I've got this and this. Oh, this is pretty cool, this Wand Chaos. Sometimes when I cast my wand, it'll like make random other skills from other classes happen. Like sometimes I get shadow bats from the outlander class, sometimes I get like a acid rain or some crap. And then this, this is like a uh, a leeching kind of spell that I guess it gives me health and mana from enemies. I've not even really used that before. But then, you got these skills that you, uh, you pick up, lootable skills. Uh, I haven't actually used any of these yet. So what I've done, uh, when you use those, it uses like a normal spell. Some of them are kind of crappy. Like my Outlander, stuff that's ranged, I have this one that like repels enemies backwards. Like pushes them away to keep them at range, but it's not really that useful. 
Um, I've got one over here in my bank. I'm gonna get out and show you. Let's see that one. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my pet's inventory because your pet can also use the spells, and I'll put that on him so he can summon archers, summon zombies level two, and summon nether imp level two. So my pet is going around summoning shit while I don't have to use any of my mana for it. Cause look at all this mana he's got. He never even runs out. I've never seen it go below 75%. Like bam 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 bam. Yeah, not really a big deal. Just bringing shit down. Oh, it's a rat nest. Oh, I'm losing health. Ah, this difficulty's a little weird. Actually getting hit from stuff. I got some zombies back there that have been conjured up. There's my archer standing there, not doing anything. So once this gauge at the bottom fills up, I can spam my skill for free. And then while I'm spamming it for free, the mana gauge fills up. So it's kind of like just a constant spray of a level 1 spell. This is my strategy. I've also got this spell. Columns of Fire. That's like the second time I've used it. So my uh, the rest of my build is I go into frost and I got frozen fate up to almost 50% chance to freeze four additional enemies within a seven meter radius when I kill something, and then I've got ice brand like when I hit frozen enemies I do additional 200 to 350 damage. So once I kill one thing, pretty much it freezes everything around it, and then those things get hit for extra crazy 300 something damage. So I'm spamming this level 1 skill and then snap freezing them all and then everything dies while zombies and archers and imp runs around destroying faces. I just throw down one of these. Spam, spam, spam. Didn't really need to throw that down. Boosh! Didn't even notice. It's not scary. So yeah, I'm probably the world first. To figure this out. It's pretty, pretty crazy strategy here. I'm using level thirty something. Level thirty, yeah. Using level one skills like a boss. Plus I like how they homing missile them, like you don't have to aim. It's good against phasing monsters that disappear all the time because they just circle around until they come back and then they hit you. Be a really good PvP skill if there was PvP. Is there PvP? I don't even know if there is. Even those fire columns seek things out. Uh, let's see what we got up here. Oh, 33 to 34 area. Red. Danger, do not enter. Let's see how hard it is. Like I really give a shit about your levels. <laughs> um, what's going on? What's going on? Why am I dead? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. That was weird. I didn't even see any enemies. Just a big glowing circle of light death. Okay. I see how it is. Yeah, so I went back on normal to show you like what I've been dealing with. Uh, I don't see why you couldn't just make your character on normal. Oh, there's the thingy. It's showing up now. 
I re rolled the world. I guess the guy disappeared. Hello. Hey, what is this? Ooh, that's very nice. Yeah, I'll select the only thing possible. Sure. So I don't see why you couldn't just uh, level up a character on normal and then play on LAN or whatever when you wanted to play on the harder modes. Because you level up so much faster, just going around spraying shit, knocking it all down like dominoes. See that ice thing coming up around shit when it dies? That's what freezes the uh, four enemies around it. And this one character that had this ring called the skull. And he has a 1% chance to call forth the skull when you attack something, I guess, or when you get hit. And I finally saw a proc the other day. It was just like this little orange skull that flies around all spooky like. And attack stuff. It's pretty neat. Yeah, this is like a breeze. This is what the whole 30 levels has been like. It's like blasting shit. Blast shit, blast shit. Mana gets low. Then he fills up. You blast shit for free. It's free, you can cast your big expensive spells like fireballs. Alright, uh, update guys. I'm changing up my shit a little bit here. Still using my level 1 spell, but uh, I'm using this ultimatum uh, unique axe with mana steel, 15% cast speed, 2% magic finding luck enchantment that's got on it. I'm using this crazy Bulwark's Eye Shield. We've got Mana Recovery, i got some cast speed on there, i got some uh, good block, good vitality, I guess. Just a whole shitload of stats with the gold find. I'm using a combination of a lot of different set pieces. I'm using Ritual Janissary, three pieces to get to the 2% mana, 2% all damage. I need to put some, some of the sockets on that. I'm using the Janissary Gloves, which gives me cast speed and 3% all damage. On top of that 2% all damage bonus with 9 focus. And I got a 24 health recovery in there, so my health stays up. And let's see, what's the other one? I got a Janissary something. Janissary Ring here. Which uh, could be better, it's just fire damage. And then I got this granite set, which has... I've got it up to 5 pieces with 3% all damage, 10% health steal, 6% all damage, and 6% crit. I didn't need the last piece for the 12% attack speed because I already ever used my, my, my axe. If I do use my axe, I get this crazy proc here that is called Eviscerate. It's like the uh, dual wielding claw barbarian type deal. Uh, so yeah, I got all these granite pieces. They don't really help me up any except for the bonus stats. That one's got some charge rate, but... I got this alchemical ring, which could be replaced, I guess. And I got the extra spell, which gives me another 5% all damage and another 3% ice damage. So if you look at my stats, uh, I got 22% physical damage, 38% ice, 37% fire, 22 and 22. And these are all coming off of this prismatic bolt, which now does 57 of each kind of damage because I leveled up. So it's crazy how this level 1 skill just keeps increasing damage as you go. I could boost it like 30% if I put max points in it, but I don't know if that would even help that much. What's 30% of 57? Okay, 10% is like 5. So it'd be like another 15. That's actually pretty good. That's like another 60 damage in total. I don't know. It costs a lot of points though. You don't really need it. Because right now, see if you put the points in, it would cost an extra mana per point. So that's like an extra 15 mana. It would cost me 25 mana every time I cast it. But level 1, look at my mana. You can spam the shit out of it. My mana hardly even goes down. It's recharging almost as fast as I cast the spell. How crazy is that shit? I'm just now at half mana. And it won't really go below half. And by that time, this thing would have filled up, and I would have got a bunch of free hits. And then I'm using this Dervish level 3, which lets me do crazy attack speed bonus. I'm fighting bosses. I'll put him in an ice prison, and I'll put like a lightning thing on, and a fire thing on. And I'll just spam him with this shit, and just start hitting with these. And then when it shatters, it does damage. 
So that's a pretty uh, nice little strat, I think. I'm going to use my flame attack for stuff that's up on hills because I can't really prismatic bolt it. I'm having some fun with this. I usually don't play casters in games. I mean, it's so much easier than the other classes I've been playing. This takes forever on the other classes. Like engineers, I've been trying to play with a cannon and just shoot stuff. I don't already have any major skill because all the skills seem to be for sword and board kind of stuff. So if you just use cannon, there's not really a lot of options except your blast attack. And then bow is like really slow to kill stuff. This shit is just easy mode. You just hold down the right click and you're just killing the whole world. There's my free attacks. I'm going to spray everything. There's a bunch more zombies and skeletons being summoned by my little pet. I may replace those archers because they don't seem to attack much. Because by the time they come up out of the ground and stand there, they're, they're stationary. They don't move. Usually everything's dead by then. I did give him something else. Skeleton level 2. The warriors. So yeah, he's got skeleton warriors now. Oh shit, something crazy is about to happen. Fucking ghost horse. Hmm, okay, maybe not. 